We already have Superman. I didn't get These people that have crazy. way too much time on their hands. Yeah. Wonder Woman is the first female-led superhero film directed by a woman. Huge victory, but of course, with every victory, there's gonna be some criticism, right? Her lasso is dumb. It's dumb? They're lying. Not true. It's amazing. Yeah. I wanna see his lasso. Let's talk through every superhero you can think of. I mean, they are all ridiculous. Like, <laughs> She doesn't even wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> Why would she wear pants? Did you know that pants were invented for uh, women? I heard that she checked in with Batman and Superman and they said, don't go with the unitard, it's way too hot. Greek athletes only wore, if anything at all, they only wore the skirt. And so all that is is a nod to the origins of her myth. She doesn't face off against any cool villains. I just said Steve <laughs> Excuse <Madison>. me? <laughs> are, you, are they crazy? Dan Houston? Look at the Joker in the comic book. Who would have thunk that that would go on to be a legendary character played by so many fantastic actors? Her superpowers are lame. That's insane. She's basically a walk, walking hydrogen bomb. What powers would they suggest? Have them call me after they show me how they can fly and fight and, you know. She isn't even feminist. She's the uh, absolute emblem of feminism. There's a Webster's Dictionary, I think, in the lobby if we want to grab it and just show them what the word feminist means. How could anything that succeeds at being the greatest and the most powerful thing in the world that happens to be a woman not be inherently representing a wonderful side of, of women? She stands for woman and mankind. She's spectacular in every way, strong and wonderful. When she walks into this room full of men, she doesn't even realize that she's not supposed to be in there because she comes from a culture that assumes that she has every right to be there. That's feminism.